team and we're just looking forward to getting out there and, and having a chance to go play our best football tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, while you're concentrating on the game, uh, fans are speculating on everything uh, involving uniform color, what's, what the crowd's going to look like. I, I, I know you can't get away from right. that, but I, I think yeah. what it really shows is the enthusiasm for the game. It does. And, you know, I know this. Penn State's the first Big Ten opponent to come in here and play in our stadium, and, uh, but also a really good opponent. And it's the third game of the year. You know, we got five home games. Uh, everybody's excited about this. Our players are. And, you know, this is the game everybody's been talking about. And, and we focus on the first two opponents. But um, I think everyone's excited and looking forward to this and, and having a chance to see what our football team can do and, and where we are in our program right now. Coach, it's unusual because every, every coach that we talk to talks about when they have a huge opponent for the first game, it, it's, it's the motivator. The second game, which we saw last week in Texas, this is a, a little bit weird to have – and not to – uh, well, I, 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 if, you want, if I want to disrespect your first two opponents, I will. But they, they were not anything that the fans were getting excited about. You still had to prepare. Is there right. a, do you manage your team differently? You just try to get ready every week knowing that you have a big one in week three. Yeah, you really manage your team the same. And, and because as a coach, it really is about your team. Right. And that's the number one thing. And I think you talked about last week. Look at the, the teams that played exactly. and, and look what happened. You know, football is one of those games that, if you don't show up ready to play, it's really hard to get ready in three and a half hours during the game. So uh, it all starts on Sunday, and your preparation is the most vital part of what you do so that you can play confident, you can play fast on Saturday. And to me, it's really about the player himself. You know, does he want to be the best player he can be? Does he want to go out there and perform on Saturdays? And you have to practice like that. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you're playing Mercer or Penn State. Some spectacular things can happen in that game if you're ready for it as a player. And so every single week, it's about getting better. It's about improving. And I told our team, our opponents get better and better as we go. And this is the case. We're playing Penn State. They're a better football team than the two teams we played. Um, we got to be a better football team, and, um, and we should be. You know, you, you're three weeks into it now. Um, the improvement should show as a player. And... I think we've had a great week of practice. I'm excited about where our guys are at right now, and I'm looking forward to watching them go out there and, and cut it loose and play. Co coaches can all only deal with what's in front of them, but when you, when you see the intensity in practice, what does that tell you about your team as you get ready for tomorrow? Well, I, I think it says that you know, they're getting better. I think it says that it's important to them. And I love practice. That's just one of the things I do. I love practice. Uh, I get excited about the games, but I love the day-to-day. I know when we have a really good week, we're going to play well on Saturday, you know, and the opponent's going to come out and make plays. They're going to do things that we haven't seen. We've got to make adjustments. But that enthusiasm, all right, that excitement that the players have each and every day for the process itself, that gets me excited about where our team's at. And I've seen that this week. This has been our best week of practice. And I think that will show up when we go out there and play Saturday. And that's, that's not cliche. I remember uh, sitting mm. with you, I think, right next door uh, last year on the Saturday of the Iron Bowl. And I don't remember, I think it may have been off the air, but, but you looked at me and, I mean, there, there was an intensity in your eye. Uh, and, and you said something along the line. It, it may have sounded like a coach speak, but I was like going, I'm getting out of your way. And we saw what happened uh, a couple of hours later. That, you know, that was just a, that was something that a lot of fans had not seen much of. Sure. Well, it, it is, but that's, um, you know, I think that's where you want your football team to be, you know, each and every week. There is an intensity. There is a, a development phase that happens. Um, and we have standards ourselves of what we want to accomplish in the game. We kind of have the game within the game as things that we want to see from our players. And, and that's the challenge every week. If it's just the opponent, well, you don't play them till Saturday. Well, what do you do on Sunday? You know, right. what's the challenge on Sunday? What's the challenge on Monday? Well, for each and every one of those players, there's something different. And we're going to have some young guys playing. We've got some veterans playing. You know, we've got a team that we're still continuing to build. And I think it's still three, four games into a season until you really know your team and you really know who you're playing. And this one's no different. Um, but it goes back to our prep. It goes back to, to who we're trying to become. And then Saturday is payday. You know, I tell our players that. Like, it's a chance to go out there and, and uh, have the opportunity to be on the field. Just the 11 guys, coaches aren't out there. It's not practice any longer, and it's your chance to go play. I know before the season you were trying to identify the quarterback and you know, the fans are still speculating on that. So give us uh, how, how you view the quarterback situation. Sure, yeah. You know, TJ um, continues to develop and grow, and I, and I like where he's at. And, and, you know, that takes time. He's still in a new system here, and he's still 
working with a new coordinator, and I think Coach Keysaw has done a really good job with him. Uh, but he's getting better, and I've said this before. TJ is really smart. Uh, he prepares well. It's important to him, and so you see it every single day. Robbie comes in, and now he's getting better. You know, you see where he's maturing. He's developing and growing as a, as a player. And so both those guys working together, and I think they've done a great job of making it work. And I, that's the key because normally that's not the case. And those guys have to be great teammates to work off each other to help our offense be successful. And so this week, both guys have gotten better. This week, both guys are, are going to be a part of the plan, and we'll see what that's